Well, who knew there was an international association of exorcists? I certainly didn't until the movie The Pope's Exorcist was released recently, starring Russell Crowe. He plays a character based on the real-life chief exorcist of the Vatican, Don Amoth, who held that position for 30 years until he died in 2016. Amorth also set up the aforementioned Association of Demon Expellers. And this association went ballistic about the movie even before it came out. Based on just watching the trailer, they dubbed it Unreliable Splatter. They said the title of the movie was pretentious. Well, it seemed quite pithy and on the point to me. Russell Crowe doesn't even look like Don Amoth, the association said on its website. Well, this may come as news, but actors don't actually have to be the spitting image of people they portray. The cinematography is too gloomy, it continued. The movie arouses unhealthy emotions and it's over-reliant on special effects. Now, these really are the silliest of criticisms. It ignores 2,000 years of religious art that was gloomy, that aroused unhealthy emotions, and that also used the most lurid iconography, especially when it came to depicting the devil. Church-sponsored artists went to town depicting the Prince of Darkness, and the Catholic Church had no complaints in the Middle Ages. But now that we're dealing with moving images as opposed to still images, the church goes mad. Exorcism, the association continues in its critique of the Pope's exorcist, is depicted in the movie as an abnormal, monstrous and frightening phenomenon. You mean it's not? I can't imagine that having a demon or Satan cast out of you is like having a tooth extraction at the dentist. Seriously, the Vatican needs to take a chill pill. Let's just take a deep breath here and a step back and remember we're talking about exorcism. That is expelling a demon from a possessed person. That's not a normal state of affairs or something run-of-the-mill. In recent decades, evangelicals and other non-Catholic Christian sects have made the running in casting out of demons and faith healing and so on. And rather belatedly, the Vatican has realised that actually it has centuries-long experience in this area, and so it's revived interest internally in exorcism. But when Hollywood dares to visualise exorcism, the Vatican has a hissy fit. I remember as a kid over 40 years ago being in a Catholic church when The Omen, the 1976 version, had just come out and the Catholic priest at the pulpit exhorted the congregation to go and see it. He said, this will show you what Satan is really like. That priest, frankly, had a better idea of how to handle Hollywood than the Vatican today, which is more interested in getting its clerical knickers in a twist over something that could work in its favour. We increasingly live in a secular society. And if the Vatican wants people to believe that Satan exists, it really ought to hitch its wagon to movies like The Pope's Exorcist instead of kicking it in the demonic crutch. The real-life Don Amoth, by the way, who Russell Crowe does a splendid job of portraying, claimed to have conducted, now get this, 160,000 exorcisms. In the years leading up to his death, the Vatican increasingly swung behind the whole idea of exorcisms, largely due to his sterling efforts. In the year 2000, Pope John Paul II conducted a rite of exorcism himself on a 19-year-old Italian girl and then allowed that centuries-old rite of exorcism to be updated the first time it had been updated for many, many years. It had been collecting dust and going unused really for centuries. Though the Vatican would hate to admit it, I think it's actually Hollywood that repopularized the whole idea of exorcism, uh, especially, of course, The Exorcist, made in 1973, which was probably the most Catholic-friendly horror movie ever made. And it entrenched in the public mind the whole idea of exorcism being carried out in a modern setting. 
The internet, of course, has popularised exorcism even more. Strange, ironic, if you want, that new technology should revive ancient superstition, but nothing really should surprise us anymore. So my message to the Vatican is get down on your knees and thank Hollywood for mainstreaming exorcism. You might even want to say a prayer for Russell Crowe while you're down there. Tell me what you think about the whole subject of exorcism and whether you've had direct experience of casting out demons. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.